Hi, let's talk about the video stitching. So, uh, you are given a clip array and a clip array contains starting time and ending time. So, you also have a time, uh, which is from zero to time interval, and then you want to know how many minimum clip, uh, you can have, right? So, for example, uh, uh, from 0 to 10, right? Uh, I can have 0 too, right? Because there is no, there is no clip starting from 0, right? So, uh, 0 to 2, right? And then 4 to 6, okay, for right now, I can use it, right? From 4 to 6. And for, for 8 to 10, yes, I can still use it right now, right? But for, for, how about this 1 and 9, right? It looks like I contains from here to right over here, right? So I don't need what I I don't need for in six anymore, right? Because I do overlap uh, the the one and nine already, right? So uh, I mean four or oh, four and six already, right? So I, so I don't need this. So I will move on one and five, which is what which is overlap with one and nine, and move on to another one five and nine. So 5 and 9, right, overlap with 1 and 9, so I don't need this. So how many minimum clip you can have is what? 1, 2, 3, so you return 3. So this is pretty much a solution. So how do you actually need to do this is what? Uh, let me close this out and then I will just draw this again. So I will have, well, I will have a starting time and current ending time. And the starting time is going to be zero, ending time is going to be zero by default. And then I have a counter, clip counter, right? So just record how many clip I need to use. So I will traverse my starting time with the time by, I mean, for, for the given value, right? So if I start less than 10, and then I will traverse a clip, traverse a clip, right? So if the star, is actually greater equal to what uh, the clip at beginning right so well what, what does this mean is actually need, i need the starting time at the clip zero index and which is has to be greater or equal so for example if my if my starting time is what is one the clip zero could be what could be zero could be one and these are all valid and this is also correct because if you want to say, okay, I want to start it from 1 to 5, right? And my current clip, clip is 0 to, 0 or 1, doesn't matter. So if 0 to 4, right, this can be used, right? And 1 to 3, this can be used. So only 0 and 1 can be used in this case, right? So if this is satisfied, right? If this is satisfied, I need to what? I need to update my current end, right? So I will say, okay, n equal to what? The maximum between what? the current n and also the clip at zero uh, clip at one so i will update the current n by just by the clip one index which is the value uh, i mean the interval between starting and end right and then if this is happening and after the traversal if the start is actually equal to the n it's equal to the n right I will know this is not valid because uh, if the time is impossible to return negative 1, right? I will have to return negative 1 because I know there is no clip I can connect with another one, right? So I will just, after the traversal, I was like, okay, now I know the starting and end is uh, still going to be uh, still, going, still going to be the same, right? Because I in, initiated at 0, right? So I will return negative 1 right there, right? So if not, then I need to increment my clip counting uh, variable and also update my start to the end. So I will know for the next iteration, iteration I will have to uh, stop at this time, timestamp. All right, so let's start coding. So I will have an int variable, I will say clip counter equal to zero. And also start equal to zero and equal to zero right so while star is less than time right 
So I will say returning uh, clip on, uh, at, the, at the end. So I will have traversal clip. So if the star, if the star is what really good at clip and zero, right? My current end has to be update, right? Clip at one. Alright, so after the fiber, so I will have to just making sure does my end update it, right? So if the star is actually equal to the end, I'll have to return negative one. If not, I need to increment my clip counter and also update my star to the end. So I know like the next iteration I will have to traverse is something else. Uh, it's not going to start start from zero again. It's gonna be something else, right? So let me run it and submit. All right, so let's talk about time and space. So for the space is easy. All of one constant for the time. All of t times all of c. So t represent what time. C represent what the length of the clips. So this is the time, the worst case, and this is the solution. And I will see you next time. Bye.